in my dreams are reality Give me me high and shine in my world So be the sunshine love to me Give me me high and shine The thing is, it's much like Jamaica, you know But I just love how you can go into like a random bar or something And these people are playing all these live instruments and singing so with so much passion and stuff like that you know it reminds me of jamaica in so many ways so it almost feels like home you know even the heat feels like home isn't it? yeah man it was a great experience man i mean the crowd was very receptive you know what i mean reggae music to the world always trying to spread it and to see the people react to reggae music like that it's a great feeling isn't it? yeah man, yeah, man. Yeah. some of my brethren from yard in the ghetto we call it back to Kingston 11. Mm. We heard them used to run away and boat. And in the beginning, we're talking about in the 70s, early 70s, they used to come and boat. Story and boat come over here. And this is the place that I heard I come. Because one and two of them came back to Jamaica. And said, man, the people in New Orleans, they treat us so nice, man. You know? When we come up, they, they put us up in home and, you know. Not until when I come here, I think my first time was here, it was 90. Yeah, and looking at the place, I said, man, it captured. <laughs> it captured my attention. Yeah. Here we come. That's where they found my wife, here. Yeah, my wife is from here. Wow. Yeah, when I met her, I was living in Jamaica at the time. And I met her and we talked talk on the phone. Yeah, she would come to Jamaica too. Then, you know, but we're not together now, but you know, that's real. Yeah, so you yeah. see, New York, I mean, New Orleans be a big part of my life. about New Orleans is the, the strength that is obviously that is obvious and apparent from from the from from, 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 from the community of you know the, the residents everybody you know or for, for the for most of us anyway and and, and also that, that that resonates among the New Orleans community you know pushing uh, roots and culture and reggae, you know. I always, I always enjoy coming to New Orleans from, from, from in the 80s. I enjoy performing here. I like the energy, the, the, it's like there's a, a mixture of culture here and it's, and it's rich and it's deep. And I like dealing with people who have a sense of where they're coming from, a sense uh, of, of, of their appreciation of their history, of their culture. And it all happens here, and everything is just melting pot, and it's just so ripe for music. You know? And everybody is into their music here, and I just love the energy here. You know? And after going through Hurricane Sandy, you know, and surviving that, and coming back here last year, I was just explaining to the Virgin, you know, I feel I really feel an affinity with New Orleans because I understand, you know, the the, the psychological head trip that one goes through after going through something like that, you know? Yeah. Yo, bring me back to New Orleans anytime, you don't yes, know? Nola, definitely. blessed love every time, conquer us, so. Tell them!